Uh, Scapia's mission is a do-it-yourself space mission. So we're here in Kamontana to train our analog astronauts that were selected among 200 international students in order to be up in the mountains to simulate the moon or Mars. We selected them with very specific criteria. They had to be students. This is really the point of our mission. It's to give the opportunity to students to do such a mission. They had to be in STEM, so science, technology, medicine, etc. It's very an international crew. But the most important thing, I think, is we didn't select individuals, we selected a crew. Our mission in April is going to be seven days in isolation, meaning they will only be able to communicate with mission control, meaning us at VFL. If there is a problem, they need to be able to adapt. So this training is about adapting. It's, it's good practice being in, um, in a stressful situation. That will really get us ready for the mission, to, to know how to like just stay calm and just keep just do what needs to be done. We're in a conditions we're not used to, so in the snow and sleeping in tents, it's getting cool at night. So what do you do? How do you survive? And this is the point of this uh, workshop with Alban here is to know how to survive. This morning we sort of discovered that we're going to go diving under the ice and then uh, at noon we discovered we might go diving under the ice at night. So all these little extra steps are starting to add and it's, uh, I think, playing with our excitement a little bit. <laughs> under the ice, it's most likely to be more like the moon gravity, so about one-sixth of Earth gravity. And it's also good because if there's a problem, you can't just go up, meaning you have to follow protocol and procedures exactly like in a real space mission. So this is one of the best activities you can do to prepare for a space mission. And astronauts at ESA, at NASA, is actually what they do. They train in pools in order to be prepared for their real mission. I think they might have another couple of surprises in store for us, but they try and keep us astronauts a bit in the dark so that we are actually in the stress and don't know what's going on. How do they react in isolation? How are they going to interact with their crew? Are they able to perform the experiments correctly? And if something goes wrong, are they able to adapt and see the positive and make it happen until the end of the mission? Hi, did you get this? <laughs> Clinic Collier, so our Swiss astronaut said it's, it's a huge benefit for an astronaut application to be able to say, I was in isolation for seven days, I performed experiment and I fulfilled the mission uh, in the right way. 